Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page for Thursday, 18 May. I am Curtis Morton. In our headlines, draw to be made for upcoming Masters Tournament, and in our feature for this evening, Barbados defeats Leewards and takes championships honors in the Females Regional Tournament. We will take this break, and I'll be right back. I'm Zach Harmon. And I'm Denise Golden. And you are watching NTV8. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. President of the Leeward Islands Masters Cricket Association, Anthony Rollins, has indicated that the draw to schedule matches for the upcoming Leeward Islands Masters Cricket Tournament will be conducted tonight, that's this evening, on ZIZ Radio. The draw will be done during the popular sports program, Sports Wrap. Mr. Rollins will be a guest on the program and he pointed out that he wants the process to be transparent and he wants the teams to know of the general scheduling of the preliminary matches well in advance of the start of the tournament. The tournament bowls off in St. Kitts next week Thursday evening with a cocktail reception and opening ceremony at Government House. This will be followed by preliminary matches on Friday 26 May, Saturday 27 May and concludes on Sunday 28 May with the Grand Finals. And in some not so good news for SK and Patriots fans, Dwayne Bravo has returned to Trinbago Night Riders ahead of the 2023 Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League CPL. Bravo returns to the Knight Riders after two seasons with the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, having won the title with them in 2021. Bravo is the leading wicket taker in T20 history and has more wickets than any other player in the CPL with 124 victims in 97 matches. Bravo is also the leading wicket taker for the Knight Riders with more than 100 wickets for his home franchise. Bravo represented the Trinidad franchise from 2013 to 2020, claiming the title four times in that period. With five CPL titles, Bravo is the most successful player in the tournament's history, and he is synonymous with Trinidad cricket, so his return to his home team will be an exciting prospect for Knight Riders fans. We'll take this break, and we'll be back with our feature for this evening. RBM. Rodney, Brendan, and Melissa. You're Brenta. You know her, Brendan, and Tarek. My name is Rodney Fleming. I'm the owner of RBM Nursery Landscaping Services and your Brenta Bar and Snacket. We are located at Cage Bay. We're in business for approximately for 15 years. We are here since 2010, so it's five years now. I'm operating in here and your Brenta, we opened your Brenta five years ago. Now your Brenta, we serving breakfast and lunch. Dinner will be served Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I'm inviting everybody to come on to your Brenta and to enjoy our dinner when we start in December the 13th. The business is about my children. All right, you know, I'm just waiting for them to tell daddy. We want to take, um, it. We want to take it over and I just go outside, so you know. So it's a, it's a family business. Well, I'm back and tonight cricket is in the spotlight. Barbados wins all five matches to lift the CG United Women's Super 50 Cup. Barbados women's team won all five of their matches to be crowned champions in the City United Women's Super 50 Cup for 2023. Playing in the final round against the Leeward Islands on Wednesday, the Bajans bowled out the host for 74 and then reached the target for, of 75 for free to record an easy seven-wicket victory at Warner Park. Barbados' captain Haley Matthews was one of the tournament's lead performers and said it was a joy to win their fourth consecutive 50 overs regional title. She showered praise on her teammates. We had high expectations, so it was really good that we could have a good start to the tournament and finish it with a really good win. So the attention now turns to the T20 tournament, which starts this coming Saturday. In terms of the schedule, Round 1, Saturday 28 May, Windward Islands vs. Guyana at 10 a.m., Leeward Islands vs. Jamaica at 2.30 p.m., Trinidad and Tobago Red Force Divas vs. Barbados at 7 p.m. 
and all those matches will be played at Warner Park. Round 2, Sunday 21st May, Winwood Islands takes on Leewards at 10 a.m., Guyana versus Barbados at 2.30 p.m., Jamaica versus Trinidad and Tobago Red Force Divas at 7 p.m. Round 3, Tuesday 23rd May, Trinidad and Tobago Red Force Divas versus Winwards at 10 a.m., Jamaica versus Barbados at 2.30 p.m., and Guyana versus Leewards at 7 p.m. Round 4, Thursday 25th May, Jamaica versus Guyana at 10 a.m., Leewards vs. Trinidad at 2.30 p.m., Barbados vs. Windwards at 7 p.m. And the final round of matches, Saturday 27 May at 8 a.m. Now these have different venues. Leeward Islands takes on Barbados at Warner Park. Trinidad and Tobago takes on Guyana at St. Paul's. And Jamaica takes on Windward Islands at Connery. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Consuming excess salt can lead to heart attack, high blood pressure, and even stroke, and other health-related conditions such as kidney disease. feature for this evening we now go back to that game it was the masters versus the young guns at the virgin grounds last weekend we get another bit of that game for you for tonight's feature
swimming by long pot. Well, it's going to be the man Pee Wee who made a fantastic hundred. He'll be bowling from the far end to Rakish. Here he goes, moves in out to bowl to Rakish. Rakish is pushing it quietly down the onside. The bowler comes across, stops it. Here he goes once more, moves in out to bowl to Rakish. Rakish is driving in the out. Caught. Giving it away there, Rakish. Just driving it to extra cover. Caught. And he's gone. Batsman stuck on the pad. He's looking for the run. Venrick says no. If Marshall is running, Venrick should run too. I don't know why Venrick didn't run for that one. Marshall was rushing off. Here he goes now. Marshall is swinging that one. There's a man racing across the square leg boundary. He's in control and they'll get one. So one more to the total. once more moves in now to bowl full toss when his bowl slow ball it was a slow ball he was through the shot too early and Venrick Newton is bold last time around he picked it hit it for six this time around he was bamboozled and clean bowled so good delivery that from Pee Wee and Newton goes back Captain Simmons having a flash outside the off -thumb. That must have been pretty close to a wide. And that ends the over. Well, it's going to be Fabian Cranston into the attack. Guest player for the Young Guns team. Marshall swings it away. The field is coming across. He's getting in line. They should look for two here. Marshall is just reaching home for one. What is this? Marshall just got home for one. That's a long single. Cranston once more being asked by his teammates to bowl over this. Oh, that's played away by Simmons. This one is going down the hill. The man is quick, but is he quick enough? Is he quick enough? Is he using bolts? Cousin, it looks as if he is, but I think he has tangled up himself on the rope. That's gone for four. It's gone for four. He really tried hard. So the young guns showing that they have a lot younger legs, but still couldn't pull that one in. Four runs to Simmons. Well, he has gone over the wicket now. Moves in out to bowl to Simmons. Simmons is driving, smooth looking shot. Down towards long off. Long off is in position quickly. Single. So one more to the total. So Cranston moves in now to bowl to Sterling Marshall. Marshall is turning it into the onside. A little bat into Pat there. Cranston was shouting his appeal. They're off for the single. So Cranston really play for the Masters. Showed up a little too late for selection today, so he has been included as a guest player for the Young Guns team. Moves in now to bowl to the captain. Simon punches it into the outside. The ball is traveling, but um, Nisbet, who is a guest player for the Young Guns team, he's on the extra cover boundary. And I'm surprised he's still on the field because he wanted to go off. He has a game to play right after this. He wanted a break, but nobody came on. So I don't know how he'll make out because he has a game to play right after this one. Balls down the leg side. That's a wide. Getting it wrong there. So here's Cranston moving in now to bowl to Sterling Marshall. Marshall swinging into that, jumping just short of the man at mid-wicket. And he managed to stop it. Ball was traveling. They're telling him he should have dived for that one. But he stopped it effectively. No runs. Here he goes. Now it's going to be new bowler into the attack. Moving in out to bowl. Short swung away. That's gone all the way for six. Lovely shot by Captain Simmons. Pulling that one over square leg for six. That's it. So Simmons settles. Former Leeward Islands wicketkeeper batsman. Still has a lot of shots in him. 
shot and this time he's punching it into the offside. Marshall is rushing through for the single. Well, I said that carefully, rushing through. Came through for the single. So Marshall settles once more. Moves in now to ball. Shot. Marshall swings it away. Gone for four. Gone for four. Just wide of the man at back out of square. And it's gone for four. That's it. So it's going to be Marshall to settle. As the bowler will bowl from the far end. It has been a pretty expensive over so far. And my mind tells me more expensive stuff to happen. As he moves in now to bowl to the aggressive. So the Marshall pulls it away. Gone big. Oh my goodness. It's gone a sailing. He dipped and Marshall pulled. And it's gone out of the park. Well, well, well. Well, that has gone sailing. Gone for six. That's a bike like. Here he goes, moves in out the bowl. Marshall is swinging at that, threw everything at that. The kitchen sink, the stove, the oven, and and um. Uh, Simmons is saying, don't get carried away. That should have been punched to the offside, Marshall. So Marshall wanted to tuck that back over the pavilion. It has been a pretty expensive over so far. So he moves in once more to bowl to DJ Sterling Marshall. Moves in now to bowl. Marshall is swinging and missing. Goes down the leg side. It's a wide signal by the umpire. Well, nice to see Patrick Newton back on the field. Well, not quite on the field, but um, he's here was hospitalized for a little bit and is back on his feet again. We are happy for that. So here goes now. Moves in now to bowl. And that's another wide and he's gone past the keeper and he's coming towards us for four. Well, well, well. Killers bit of work there by the wicket keeper, I thought. He looked really casual and it's gone for four wides. So it has been a very expensive over this. Huh? Here he goes, moves in now to bowl to Marshall. Marshall is swinging, a little bat into that. He's rushing down, Simon says no. And that ends the over. Very expensive over that. So nine runs from 12 balls. And all nine could be done in this over. So it's gonna be Cranston to bowl to Simmons. Cranks up and loses his shape there. Pulls up. He has to do a little cranking up Cranston. Yeah, he, he isn't a smooth ruler. He, he has to do a little dance. A little, yeah, look at that. Moves in out to bowl. He's driving nicely, smoothly down towards long off. They'll get one. The fielder comes in and picks it up. One more to Simmons. One more to the total. Eight from 11. So if Masters pulls this off, it would have been a stunning comeback because the young guns batted superbly. But Masters would have batted pretty well too. Marshall is tugging it into the inside. The fielder comes across, stops it. Dot ball, crucial dot ball that. So eight from ten and counting. Marshall is looking towards the, the wire at the far end. I could tell you that. Or maybe at the VOJ and school. Which one? He's punching it into the offside. Marshall is hustling through for the single. And I say hustling loosely, but Marshall is through for the single. One more to the total. Seven from nine now. So three balls remaining in this over. Simmons will take strike. Here goes Cranston Bowles to Simmons. Simmons turns it into the outside. They're off for the single. Misfields badly, but um, Marshall would have committed to the single already. Six from eight, I think it is now. So, easy does it, I assume. Six from eight. Can't leave everything for the last over. The boundary would be good here. 
six from eight marshall will be looking to do just that he's going high he's going handsome it's coming towards me it's coming right towards me and it hits something and something that's a lovely shot by marshall one more to the total so after hitting a six up here that ends the over or oh, is that the game i think that's the game so masters has won what a superb victory and marshall and simmons bringing it home masters has won well that's our package for this evening i am curtis morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit but to play sports requires fitness diligence and sacrifice have a good night